She is the greatest scorer college basketball has ever seen. Davis, time winding down. The fate is determined at this point. Are they going to get the ball up in time? Clark for the win! Yeah! There's nothing Caitlin Clark can't do! This is an inspiring journey. We're going to the national championship! Yeah! Oh my god. Oh, A journey of defeat and victory. A journey that made her a superstar. Sold out crowd of 18,000 to watch the best player in college basketball, Caitlin Clark, men or women. I love when she just hypes up the crowd and then everyone just goes wild. Fans lining up for hours ahead of senior night. This girl is a superstar. I've been saying it for years. I keep telling everybody she's the Steph Curry of women's basketball, college or pro. She's the face of women's basketball. And State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. First of all, I have to ask you, as a dad, what is this like when you see these fans lined up and the signs for your daughter? What has this been like? Well, the first word that comes to mind is really humbling. I mean, screw the thought, you know, as a little girl, she loved to play. And she like, like this and come to the bench and she'll be like, let's go. The bigger the crowd, the better. A journey of how she changed women's sports. She just encouraged me to be like her when I'm older. I saw there was a sign of a little girl who drove like from New Hampshire yeah. or something to watch you play. We've mm -hmm. seen you sign shoes. She's the dominating force reshaping the landscape of college basketball. If we can draw 56,000 fans, you can draw 57. If I can sign with Gatorade, you can too. Folks like myself, Mark, and this crowd obviously feeling that you're the best women's player in college basketball. Do you feel that you are the best right now? I was once that little Iowa girl who was inspired to dream big, real big. And that dream was more than women's basketball. Well, my mom has this like piece of paper, like when I was in second or third grade and it has like, you write down like all your dreams in like these little bubbles. And I remember one of them was playing the WNBA and earn a basketball scholarship. And I was always somebody that was driven by goals. You know, I grew up a super, super competitive kid. Like, all I wanted to do was win, no matter if it was a board game, um, a card game, really anything. Like, I just was gonna do whatever it took to win. I got kicked out of PE class because I was so competitive. I played every sport, basically. Like, I ran track, I did softball, you know, soccer. But I think basketball, like, I just love the competitive side of it. She just has a drive in her that I do think uh, is how she's born and is part of her core makeup. My dad was my first ever basketball coach. For every game, I look at my dad and I give him a nod. He gives me a nod. There's a lot of boys that were in his class running around here in the neighborhood. So if she wanted to, you know, hang with the boys, she had to uh, keep up. And so it's part of her DNA, if you will. Woo! Katie Clark. But some people don't like her. I'm fine, Dad. She's not fine. She's nervous. Uh, never mind. She sees the game differently than anyone I've ever met. She sees the entire floor one step ahead. The game is slower for her. Mm. 
What is it do you think about your game that has people just... Bob Nizzi always had a catchphrase. He said, play with reckless abandon. Well, his granddaughter, Caitlin Clark, is playing with reckless abandon, but she has everything in perspective. She has an ability with her ball handling, I think, to pretty much get a shot whenever she wants to. She can find ways to get the ball where she wants it to go. Definitely right away you notice that she was just a special talent on the floor. Here, <laughs> I honestly just think instinctively I threw it behind the back past the grace and it worked out well. Started getting calls from coaches, uh, Division One coaches, before her freshman year of high school, and they had seen her play. What? Small Argard Kendall, go ahead. I always have said on our broadcast that we're kind of in Caitlin's world, and we're all part of it. To be honest, I don't get nervous for games because, like, I just know like this is fun for me. I think it just speaks to the bond I've had, especially with my dad, over the course of my basketball upbringing. That's 42 points, bitches. <laughs> well, when you start getting letters, I think from a Notre Dame or a Duke or a UCLA or an Oregon, you know. It was hard for me just because I had so many options that seemed so good. It was hard to choose one from the other. But how about somewhere close to home? Hi, I'm Heather. And I'm AJ, and we're going to take you on a tour of the University of Iowa campus. It's a beautiful place. I hope she chooses this one. Directly across the street from the old capital is downtown Iowa City. Our campus pretty much blends right into the city, making it super easy to get wherever you need to go. With tons of great restaurants, local shops, music venues, and so much more, all within walking distance of both your classes and the residence halls. And they love sports. On Saturdays in the fall, over 69,000 fans pack Kinnick Stadium to cheer on the Hawkeye football team. And just down the road is Carver Hawkeye Arena, which is the home to men's and women's basketball, wrestling, and gymnastics. The energy that exists on game days is something you'll never forget. Go Hawks! But what Heather and AJ didn't knew back then was that everything was about to change. Seeing how Iowa supports girls' basketball, it's not like that everywhere else. Because who doesn't like playing in front of a lot of fans? I love that. <laughs> 